Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan with a Cat, and welcome to a What I Eat in a Week, and welcome to me having a background in my videos again. Wow. I actually uh, picked this up from my family's house a couple days ago, and it's nice not having a dirty um, apartment in the background. Yes, what I eat in a week. So this is gonna be my last what I eat in a week for a little while. Don't freak out, it's not going away completely. It's just that my what I eat in a week videos just haven't been getting that many views, so I feel like you guys aren't as interested in them anymore. So I'm gonna be trying to get some new ideas for new cool things to put on this channel, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, what else do I have to say? Uh, I do have a coffee every morning, so I just don't film that. Just keep that in mind that I do drink a coffee every morning, and my favorite, Creamer is the So Delicious Soy Creamer in vanilla. I also take vitamins every day. I take a B12, a multivitamin, and an iron supplement. I supplement iron because I was born with low iron. It runs in my family, it's on my mom's side. I didn't eat out a lot in this video, but I did eat at Smorgasburg for one day where um, I was actually doing a takeover for their story, so I got to eat a lot of awesome vegan things there. If you wanna check out my Instagram takeover, it's actually on the Smorgasburg highlights, so you can check out all the awesome vegan things they have there if you go to their Instagram. That's all I have to say, I think. I hope you enjoy this What I Eat in a Week. If you really like this series, then let me know down below and I can bring it back um, a little bit faster. But other than that, here you go with my What I Eat in a Week. Hey guys, good morning. I'm going to the beach today. Um, and usually when I go to the beach, I had a habit of going to Orchard Grocer before and like stacking up on cold cut sandwiches and snacks and Uh, talk to you later. As I was saying, usually I stop at Orchard Grocer. However, uh, we're trying to save money, so we got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and some fruit and other snacks that I'll show you later. Uh, but I got hungry, so and so did Roberto, so here you go. Thank you. Uh, so I'm having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich now, and I'll see you next time I eat. This popcorn is amazing. It's the best popcorn in the whole wide world. Meh. Here. Nom nom nom. Here. Oh, this is a video? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know what you were doing. I'm videoing you eating the best popcorn ever. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Super attractive. We also brought some blueberries to the beach. These were on sale. Um, One dollar a box, so I bought four. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. What? It's not a good flavor. Mm -mm. After the beach, we went to this pizzeria in Staten Island called Barrios. We heard good things, but when we got the pizza, we were less than excited. They had Beyond Meat sausage with mushrooms, onions, and olives. The onions didn't look like they were cooked. The mushrooms were canned. And honestly, the whole experience was a 4 out of 10. Not great. Hello and good morning, my friends. My face is red from the beach and I'm about to have breakfast, so I'll show you what I have today. Uh, the first thing is my typical overnight oats. I'm still making it with chocolate protein powder and it's still yummy. And the second thing I have is a bunch of peaches chopped up and I'm really excited for this because uh, my grocery store, oh, it smells so good, one second. My grocery store was having a sale on peaches and they were three for a dollar, so I bought nine. I waited till they got super ripe and I brought some with me to work and I froze the other one for smoothies because fresh peaches in smoothies is like one of my favorite things. That and mango and pineapple. Anyway, so this is my breakfast, so I'm gonna eat and I'll catch you later. Hey guys, it is lunch time and I'm really excited for lunch because I've recently rediscovered how much I love lentils. Um, what led the discovery was like trying to trim down on my food budget and remembering how cheap and filling and high protein lentils are. So I have this uh, Smucker's peanut butter jar full of lentils that I brought to work. And I just cook these lentils with salt and cumin, a little bit of garlic, and that's it. And they are so, 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 so good. Um, and then on the side, I usually have some toast, but I'm out of bread right now. So I brought some greens to dress. Um, Pretty lame salad, it's literally just greens. So here are the greens. Boom. I usually buy kale at my supermarket because I could find it pretty cheaply, but there wasn't any like that were affordable this time. So I grabbed red lettuce because it was only a dollar. And in this Tupperware, I have uh, the green goddess dressing from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna eat these lentils and um, those greens. 
and I'll get back to you next time I eat. Dinner time! Okay, I'm at my parents' house, uh, but I have dinner with me in a Tupperware. It's really basic, guys. Just have some pinto beans that I cooked. This is roasted broccoli and some sweet potatoes. And I have some dressing. I didn't make this dressing. This is actually a dressing that comes with a salad from Orchard Grocer, which is like a little deli um, in Manhattan. My boyfriend's daughter ordered a salad yesterday and she didn't eat the dressing, so I'm gonna put it on my food. So yeah, this is my dinner and I'm going to eat it while I edit my next video. I'm doing a review of Chef Chloe's pop-up. So by now you probably have seen that already, but I'm working on it now. I will talk to you later. For dessert, I'm having one of these Dole Dipper pouches. They have different kinds of fruit covered in chocolate and they're pretty good if you're craving something sweet but you don't want to eat any, anything too decadent. So this is the pineapple one. I've also had the banana one and the strawberry one. This one is my favorite. Hey guys, good morning. It is like 7 a.m. and I am starving. Some days I wake up so hungry. So I'm going to eat my overnight oats as I drive to work. If I can find it. There you go. Uh, in here I have almond milk and oatmeal and chia seeds and chocolate peanut butter protein powder. It's also like really humid outside today, which gives me anxiety. Literally, humidity gives me anxiety. Maybe someone in the viewing audience knows why humidity can give me anxiety. If you know, let me know, because it would be good to know. I'm drinking my coffee. My usual soy creamer was not at Whole Foods. I usually get the vanilla soy creamer from Silk, but it didn't have, so I got the Whole Foods brand vanilla almond milk creamer, and it's not good. It's like slightly bearable if you put it in hot coffee, but it makes the coffee taste really sour if you put it in cold coffee, and I've been preferring cold coffee lately, so it's like even worse. For once, I'm happy that Roberto drinks like a third of a bottle of creamer every day, so we're quickly going through that bottle so we can go back to my old favorite. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm gonna head to work now, and I will catch you next time I eat. I just spilt overnight oats on my fairly new shirt that I enjoy very much, so this better wash out. All right, okay, so I've been working out a lot lately again. I stopped working out for like two months and now I'm back. And I think that's like really stimulated my hunger because it is 10 o'clock and I'm starving and usually I don't get hungry till like noon and I'm about to eat like two times today before noon, so. Uh, so that being said, let me show you what I'm eating. Tofu scramble, this is about half a cube of tofu and some baked sweet potatoes. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I don't like sweet potatoes, so like why am I eating sweet potatoes? Let me tell you. They just reheat a lot better than regular potatoes. I mean, I would rather eat regular potatoes, but when you reheat them, they still kind of feel like crumbly and weird. If anyone knows how to reheat potatoes so that like they're still fluffy, let me know. But until then, I'm eating sweet potatoes because they reheat a lot better. They're still kind of soft. And then I'm topping this with ketchup because I always used to top my eggs with ketchup and now I top my tofu scramble with ketchup. And this is my second breakfast, I guess. This is good for me. Hey guys, I just microwaved broccoli in my uh, company kitchen and it now smells like farts and I feel really bad. But fun fact, at least I'm not the girl who tried to make salmon in the toaster oven. No, she wasn't even heating up salmon. She brought raw salmon and proceeded to bake it in the toaster oven. I just use the toaster oven for toast, like a regular person. Anyway, speaking of toast, I'm eating lunch now. It is... One o'clock, and I have some toast to go with my lentils. I love toast and lentils. Obviously, I have some very hot broccoli, steamy ass broccoli. Um, but yeah, that is my lunch, lentils, broccoli, and toast. Hello, my friends. So I'm home. I washed my hair so squeaky clean, and I'm having a coffee and a muffin because I'm gonna go work out in a minute, and I just want some like, carbs. I could have had an apple, but uh, decided on a muffin this time. It's actually a really small muffin. It is um, the Abe's uh, muffins. It's the pumpkin spice flavor. I already finished my favorite flavors, which was the corn muffin and the blueberry, uh, but the pumpkin spice is really good too. They're 100 calories each, so I feel like they're 
perfect to eat with coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Look how cute and little and moist they are. Not sponsored, although I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway with them soon. I love them because they're milk-free, nut-free, egg-free, and soy-free, so they're very allergy-friendly. And they're delicious. Uh, and I'm having an iced coffee in a wine glass because why not? I'm also boiling some beans for meal prep. Uh, I'm probably going to go work out and then I'll see you after my workout. My post-workout is really lame. It's just some rice and beans and a little bit of sour cream on top. Um, probably going to make something more later, but I got back from the gym starving. So I just like threw random shit together and I'm going to stuff my face. Last thing I'm eating today is this fruit smoothie. It has grapes and pineapple and peaches and it is delicious and the perfect thing to end a sweaty workout and a hot day. Bon appetit! For breakfast today, I had this. Um, not this exact plate because I already ate and I totally forgot to film, but I made the exact same thing for my boyfriend, so here it is. It's just some sweet potatoes, tofu scramble, and some mushrooms. If you're worried, um, why does the tofu scramble look so gray and disgusting? Well, the mushrooms were like brown and then the tofu scramble turned brown and it was just like not beautiful, but I just covered mine in ketchup and mustard and ate it anyway, so that was breakfast. And right now, my boyfriend's washing dishes, and I'm snacking on frozen grapes. If you've never snacked on frozen grapes before, you're missing out. They are delicious. Please do it. It's like eating little popsicle bites. Little popsicle balls. It's awesome. For lunch, I'm eating overnight oats. This just has oats, chia seeds, and some protein powder, and some almond milk. Pretty basic, but I'm in the middle of shooting a video with Roberto, and I just want to eat something quickly because I got really hungry. I helped my boyfriend shoot a video with the Light Life Meatless Ground. We even stuffed them with cheese. I wasn't planning on eating a whole video, but when we were doing this taste test, it just honestly tasted so good and I was hungry, so I ate the entire burger. Even though I just ate that giant ass burger that Roberto made for his video, um, we're gonna go out and maybe get more burgers. Maybe I'll get a hot dog, I don't know. So our friend Eric, hi Eric, I don't think he watches these videos, but our friend Eric no, is- No, actually the first time, I mean he's probably busy right now, but the first time we met, he said that he checked out your video. Oh, Dang, hi busy. Eric, if you watch these videos. Anyway, long story short, so Eric has a Really awesome restaurant, one of my favorites right now called Rip's Malt Shop, and he's opening a second location in Manhattan. The first one is in Brooklyn. The second location is gonna be in on Greenwich Avenue? Greenwich Street. Greenwich Street, 40 something Greenwich Street. 48. Greenwich Street. 48 Greenwich Street. And this is the exciting bit. It's gonna be New York City's first 24 hour vegan restaurant. We are so excited and we wanna go support. So we're gonna go check it out and get some junky dinner. It's gonna be great. The new Rips location is adorable. It's a lot smaller than the first one, but it is in Manhattan, so rent is super expensive. We got a bunch of our favorites, which was number one, the coffee milkshake. Number two, the Coney dog, which is like a chili cheese dog with onions and a pickle on the side. We also got the tater tots, which are so crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. If you live in New York City and you haven't been to Rips yet, then I definitely recommend you go. It's one of my favorite fast casual spots right now. Hey guys, good morning. So yesterday I didn't really film what I ate because I did a smorgasbord takeover and I basically just like ate everything that we showed in the smorgasbord takeover all day and it was a lot of food. So right here, I'll just include photos of everything I ate. Warning you now, it was a lot of food. All right, so now that it's the next day, uh, it is uh, 12 o'clock, I haven't eaten much yet, so I have this snacking plate. I have some carrots and some celery and some blackberries because the blackberries were on sale for a dollar each container at my local grocery store. So I'm just gonna snack on these and continue working. Oh my God, I wonder what exciting new thing Rebecca's having for breakfast. Oh, what could it be? Such a mystery. Oh wow, it's overnight oats again. Delightful. 
It is lunchtime and we probably have like the most vegan meal ever. We have rice and beans. These beans I make myself and then freeze them until I use them later. If you're wondering how I do that, I actually uploaded a video recently about, you know, how I save money on my grocery budget and that recipe is in there so you can go check it out. And then I have a big bowl of lettuce. It's not really a salad, it's literally just lettuce. My boyfriend bought lettuce for burgers and he only used like two leaves. And the rest of the lettuce was starting to wilt, so I'm just gonna eat it all myself with green goddess dressing from Trader Joe's. So, salad kinda, and rice and beans. I had dinner at home today and my mom made meatloaf. Uh, she totally forgot that I was coming over, so there was nothing for me to eat. So I ordered from one of the only vegan places in Bay Ridge, which is Shangri-La Vegetarian. I got their kimchi sauteed udon noodles, which is one of my favorite things to get from there. Super spicy and delicious. This morning, I went to go shoot an options video at the meatball shop. If you haven't watched this video yet, I accidentally consumed dairy. The pesto was labeled miscorrectly as vegan. I also had their stewed mushrooms, which was really good, but I basically had a stomach ache for the rest of the day. I'm about to head home after filming for most of the day and I'm going to eat this Go Macro bar on the train. I actually thought I was all out of bars and then my boyfriend found this in my room yesterday. It is the sunflower butter and chocolate flavor. So I'm back home. It was very hot and dehydrating outside. Uh, I made myself a smoothie when I got home. This is some blackberries and mangoes. I make really random smoothies because my smoothies basically depend on what's on sale at the supermarket near my house. So blackberries and mangoes it is. It's pretty good, other than the little seeds of the blackberries are everywhere, which is annoying, but whatever. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit and edit. You wanna say hi? Hi. Hi. I was standing there creepily, just watching Rebecca. Yeah, because he was. I like to do that sometimes. Thanks. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go edit, and I'll keep you updated on what I eat after that. All right, I edited one of my videos and now I'm off to go grocery shopping. One of the grocery stores is quite a walk away, so I'm going there first and then getting produce afterwards. But on my walk, I brought a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because uh, I really don't have much food in the house. That's why I'm going grocery shopping. Uh, I just have some strawberry jam and some Trader Joe's peanut butter on Trader Joe's whole wheat bread, but yeah. Eating some dinner, it's pretty basic. I made fresh beans today, so we have beans and rice and some kale salad with tahini sauce. Hey guys, good morning. I'm wearing my boyfriend's well-fed vegan shirt. It's super comfy. So I'm having breakfast at work. I have overnight oats for breakfast. I actually have soy milk in here instead of almond milk because Whole Foods was out of almond milk, so I got soy milk. Uh, Whole Foods has the cheapest plant-based milks um, that I can find. They're usually $2.99 versus three something or even like four something in some other grocery stores. I just get like the Whole Foods 365 brand. And I'm trying this new thing where, with my eating where I'm eating larger meals so I don't eat as often. My work partner can attest to the fact that I eat every five minutes but I'm trying to eat larger meals so I eat less often. We'll see if that how I feel about that. I kind of am a grazer so I usually eat like lots of small meals but it's fun to switch it up every once in a while. So anyway I'm also having a red apple so my breakfast is ta-da! I'll catch you when I eat later. Hey guys, I'm at my parents' house and I'm currently heating up some lentils and um, toasting some bread in the kitchen. It's just really loud in there and they're like dancing to Arabic music and stuff. So I figured <sighs> I'd walk into the front room to let you know what's going on. But once that heats up, I'm gonna eat that for lunch and I'll see you in a second. Hello my guys, my friends, my lentils have heated. <sighs> in this bowl we have lentils, yum, 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 yum. And then I have some toast strips so i just like made toast into strips so it's easy to like dip into the lentils and i have persian cucumbers these are my favorite kind of cucumbers it is past my lunch time and my stomach is definitely telling me you why are lentils so good talk to you later bye i was getting kind of hungry before dinner so i attempted to eat this bar as a snack so literally right after recording that clip of the Thunderbird bar, I opened it and it was moldy on the inside. So I didn't eat that, but I can't wait until dinner because I'm starving. It's like six o'clock and the last time I ate was like three. So I chopped up this white peach 
and I'm munching on it. That's it right here. I brought food with me to eat uh, for dinner. I have like beans and rice and kale or whatever. But my mom wants to go out to eat with the family. They're going to a burger place where I know they serve Beyond Burgers, but I'm trying to be more healthy. So hopefully they have like a salad or something like that instead. So I'll keep you updated on how dinner goes. For now, I'm munching on this peach and then maybe I'll eat the beans and rice when I get home or maybe I'll eat it tomorrow. We'll see. Mmm. For dinner, my family all went out to this restaurant called Burger Fi. They didn't have salads. We got onion rings and fries to share and I got a Beyond Burger with a lettuce bun. Not because the bun wasn't vegan or anything, I just wanted to cut down on how much food I've been eating lately, especially for videos. I got it with the basics, tomato, onion, pickle, mustard, ketchup, all that good stuff. I was surprised it was pretty good without the bun. Late at night when I was home, I got kind of munchy, and instead of making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I made a peanut butter and peach sandwich, and honestly, it was really good. Uh, 9 out of 10 would make again. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you got some meal ideas or were just entertained or just like to hear me drone on in the background while you clean your room or something because I do that all the time when I watch YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I feel like I'm a little in a little bit of a rut with this channel, so if you have any ideas for cool videos you'd like to see from me, then give me some suggestions in the comment section down below. I'll really appreciate it. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, then I'll put my Instagram right here and that's all I have for today I will talk to you next time goodbye a special shout out to my bodega babes Jessica Christina Marlene Osiris Alex creates Laura Ellen Michelle Kayleen Marielle Alex of planet earth Lucia Viv and Charlotte let me know if I pronounced that name right you guys are the best and these videos are made possible with your support